it is finally here. The time has come. Our savior has arrived. She is the best. She is here. And I absolutely adore her. So we have the drip marketing for what we can expect to be 3.0. Yes, it is almost upon us. We are getting 2.7 very, very soon. The live stream is going to be happening Friday. I'll be covering that, of course, which means that the drip marketing is here and she's the first one to be drip marketed. So I have no idea who's going to be next, but I'm so, so happy that the Herta is finally here. Obviously, people have been expecting her um, since the beginning of the game. We knew that it was just a, you know, a lot of puppets. And people, rightly so, have been incredibly curious as to how does the real Herta look like, right? And now we have her here. Obviously, there were some sneak peeks, uh, I suppose, with the arrival of the latest simulated universe, right? Um, which did show uh, kind of a stylized uh, Herta. And uh, so now we actually do have the proper drip marketing. So first and foremost, we do have the text. Extraterrestrial satellite communication, the Herta. The writers from the Intelligentsia Guild wanted to give me an extra title, something like Herta Prime to separate me from my puppets. How banal. Are the puppets not me as well? So I gave them a suggestion. If they dare to write that, then I would call myself THE Herta. A short, simple, straight to point, and elegant. As team member number 83 of the Genius Society, human, female, young, beautiful, attractive, it said that she lives in the far edge of the cosmos, almost never leaving. Sounds like her appearance this time. Must be to deal with an issue that has to be handled herself, right? Right, so first and foremost, I do want to point this out, but D Herta, the name D Herta, is actually Ziza, is actually different depending on language, right? So I've seen that, like in French, for example, it's La Grande Herta, which means like the Great Herta or like Heart of the Great. I think we've seen some of that, like in German language or in Russian as well. I think in Japanese, it's simply Madame Herta. Um, so it's interesting to see that, like, uh, we do have some, some different names out there. And I mean, it's not the first time, right? Characters like Firefly, characters like Sparkle, um, depending on the language, because it's not necessarily a first name. They are named after, um, you know, like the, 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 well, Sparkle is named after the fireworks, right? So in Japanese, it's Hanabi, because Hanabi means fireworks. And, uh, I think Firefly, for example... She is named Firefly in her language, which is Hotari, I think. So here we, we do have the Herta or Herta of a, a variant of that in every single language. Uh, I think the Herta works pretty well. Uh, I think it's so cool because it's like, it has this grand aspect to it, you know? It's like, it's not Herta, it's the Herta, the genius one, you know? So I'm super, super excited to see her here. Obviously, in terms of lore, Herta is the only um, emanator of um, erudition that we know directly. I think there was another one. Um, I, I think there was another. I, I think the other one we do know of that is like 100% guaranteed. I think it's the one that kind of was uh, one of the founder of the Genius Society, I believe. I'm not entirely sure on that, so we'll have to double. You know what? Let's check it out because I'm curious. HSR Genius Society. Intergalactic Organization, blah, blah, blah. Do we have Zender One Kuabara? He is rumored to have created new the Eon of Erudition. He also created the Cosmos Tree Theory, a theory that proposed that universe to like a giant tree, with every leaf representing a world and every branch representing a specific path where this world could exist. Okay, so I don't know. Is he... Is suppose, is the supposed creator and emanator of the Aeon? Okay. So there we go. Um, but it is supposed. So even then, it's not guaranteed. But it could be. Now, there's another one there, um, when the whole storyline with Rappa and Dr. Primitive, there were kind of some hints that maybe Dr. Primitive is also an emanator in some fashion. So, you know, 
Maybe. Who knows? Is it guaranteed? It does say Eminator here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he seems to be a considered... He, he's indeed an Eminator, but he's a criminal. So Harta is one that we know directly, obviously. And here, here, here is her design. First and foremost, first and foremost, the one thing I do want to point out, obviously, everyone's been talking about that since the first time we saw, like, kind of a design. She resembles Lisa. She looks like Lisa from Genshin, and she looks beautiful. And I love that, like, she has the witch aesthetic. It's so, so pretty. I, I love it so, so much. And, um, obviously, the, the weapon she's holding, or the staff that she's holding, it's actually a giant staff that is a key, which I adore. I think it's so beautiful. It's so elegant. And, you know, she's the one that is trying to unlock the secret of the universe, right? So the fact that she has a key to open the secret is so good. And then we have, like, the... Um, we have, obviously, like, the portrait. Because, like, her... The four-star Lycon for Herta is, like... It's, it's portrait of the self. Or I don't remember exactly what it's called. But it's also, like, an infinity... Uh, an infinite amount of portrait of herself looking to a mirror or something like that, I'm pretty sure. This looks so good, and obviously, um, we have, like, the door here with the, the locks on them, and there's, like, the, the, a cat going through them like a portal. Oh my god, the design is so beautiful. Now, in terms of her type as well as path, she is gonna be a five-star Ice erudition character, and this is the first time that like a four star character gets an alternate version of themselves, like Dan Hill, like uh, Ting Yun, all those characters. Um, that are that are they usually have a different type, right? Herta, no, no, she's fine, and that kind of reflects what she said. She's like, Are the puppets not me, right? And we can see it here. The puppets are a smaller version or like an alternate form of herself. And so she stays ice, she stays erudition. Now, what kind of gameplay is she gonna have? I know a lot of people are kind of disappointed about that. Personally, I'm very happy for multiple reasons. First and foremost, I think we are lacking ice DPS. I think the last strong ice DPS we've had has been Jing Liu, and we know that she's been bad for. Okay, she's not terrible, but she's definitely not on par with current DPSs that we've had. And we haven't had any strong DPS since then. I'm not going to talk about Misha, let's just not. So I'm very happy and I really hope that this means we are finally going to be having some, uh, you know, more ice-focused um, enemies. Because I like ice, it's one of my favorite elements. Uh, or like, you know, magic type, whenever there's a magic system. Uh, so I'm very happy with this. So I'm looking forward to her. I know the other thing that people are disappointed with, uh, being the first thing being, oh, well, she's a five star, but she's literally just ice erudition again. That's kind of boring. Why didn't it make something new? The other part is that a lot of people don't like the erudition type. And I think um, that I can understand why, because like a lot of the erudition character, they're not necessarily super they kind of feel underwhelming outside of pure fiction and i think a lot of people have that bias against them now what i want to say to that is that rapa exists and rapa is absolutely powerful now i don't think that Herta is going to be a super great character i think she might just stick to the follow-up attack um i kind of feel like what if she's the what if she ends up kind of being the ruin may of follow-up attack you know what i mean uh, I think that would be fantastic. I kind of hope she's not just a pure DPS. I hope she's kind of a hybrid at best. Because, or at worst, I guess. Because the problem with pure DPS is that they're going to get power crept. And I kind of don't want her to be power crept. So I'm like, okay, if she's the ruin may of full up attack, you know, we can make it work. We can make it work. And so I could say, well, we already kind of have like, you know, we, we already have Robin. But Robin, it's not strictly... I mean, she does have some good synergy with follow-up attack, obviously. Um, but have more of a hybrid of that, you know? Like a character that can DPS and maybe also, like, buff other follow-up attack characters. I think that would be great. It would be nice. Maybe she could be a AoE version of someone like Topaz, right? Um, so, I don't know. I'm just speculating here. Um... 
I'm, I'm really don't know what she's going to do. The one thing I really hope she does is kuru kuru. Because we got to keep the kuru kuru. If she does not say kuru kuru, I will be upset. Let it be known. <laughs> So anyway, I think she looks absolutely bananas and I cannot wait for her to come out. Right now, I've been saving for Fugue and uh, it's kind of unfortunate because I think I think Fugue is phase two of next patch. We're gonna, give, we're gonna be getting Sunday and then Fugue, and then 3.0, we're gonna get hers out right away. So, you know, that's gonna be a lot. So she should be coming out around January, right? Because that's when 3.x should be coming out. Uh, and yeah, now, uh, uh, going back to the topic of like people being disappointed, uh, there's also the idea that some people have been saying that she's bait because there's been a lot of hints toward the more of a summoning kind of meta because of like some of the artifacts and planning ornaments we've been getting. And I think that um, people tend to tell vision a little bit. Um, and I hope this is gonna, you know, as you age your fears or anything it's not like we only have one meta per uh, like per cycle right i mean cycle is like the entirety of the 1.x patch and the entirety of the 2.x patch etc etc when 2.0 came out we got you know like black swan so we had like the dot meta came up then we had Acheron, so we had like kind of a nearly t meta that came out that was not like dots set, uh, focused then we had, you know, some super break. Um, so I don't think, like, even if there is going to be a quote-unquote summoning meta, I don't think that just because that's going to be the case, Aherta is going to be bad if she's not a summoning character. Um, because multiple type of strong team um, archetype can coexist and do coexist. Right now, we, I mean, we have Fei Shao who's the follow-up. We have Acheron, who's like a, a, a nearly T, like, Creed DPS. We have, obviously, super break characters like Firefly. All of those things can exist at the same time and be very useful at the same time. So let's not doom post already. Now, also, is the fact that there is, like, a cat. Maybe she does have a summon. I don't know. Anyway, I'm super excited for her. Do let me know what you guys think down in the comment. Like, subscribe, all the good good. And I'll keep you updated. Anytime we get some new information. Alright, I'll catch you later. Bye!